In this episode, we're going to talk about the five-year look-back window and Medicaid. Stick around. Is mom, dad, or someone in your family at the point where you need to start talking about long-term care? It's a topic a lot of people want to avoid and they want to push off talking about until the very last possible minute, and that's where we start to run into problems. There's a five-year look-back window that's been established by Medicaid, and you really need to know about this because earlier in my career, it used to be a three-year look-back window, but there were so many shenanigans going on, assets being moved everywhere, that Medicaid nationwide instituted now a five-year look-back window. Just to put this into perspective, if you have someone that's going into a long-term care facility or, a long, or they're gonna be applying for Medicaid, say on January 2nd, 2024, Medicaid is going to be looking at every single financial transaction. I'll say that again, every single financial transaction going back to December 31st of 2018. I don't even remember 2018, it's that long ago. They're gonna look back at five years of financial transactions. You may think you're gonna get lucky and think that Medicaid and the IRS are the same thing. Oh, I have a very small chance of being audited. Uh-uh. Know that Medicaid is run by the states. This is all they do all day long. And so they are going to ask for all of the bank records they're gonna look at everything that's happened financially over the previous five years. Don't play games with this because it's gonna wind up biting you in the butt. So what do you do? Can you buy a long-term care policy for someone who's 81 years old? I don't even know if they can apply. They may be too old. And even if they were somehow approved, for coverage, it would be exorbitantly expensive. It's not something that you really wanna consider. So the only path left for folks is either just pay out of pocket or consider transferring assets out of your name. You can use things like irrevocable trusts that will help get assets out of your name. I'm not a lawyer and I'm not giving legal advice I also know that lawyers wanna do the right thing when they talk about irrevocable trusts, but sometimes these trusts come with tax strings attached to them. So you need to look at the whole picture before deciding is an irrevocable trust a situation, something, a vehicle that we really should be using. Not all folks are going to need long-term care, but understand that the most people who need long-term care are in their 80s. And so the time to do this kind of planning is when someone is in their 70s, hopefully early 70s, or possibly even late 60s. Only you know the situation or the time that's right for what's going on in your family. Speaking of families, there was a family in town they had a couple of bucks, but they certainly weren't Rockefellers by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, husband needs to go into a long-term care facility. Now, I will say that the average stay in a long-term care facility is, depending on the report you read, between 21 and 24 months, just shy of two years. Husband goes into the nursing home. He is there for four years. It's expensive. Sure enough, uh, after he passes away a year later, his wife needs to go into a long-term care facility and wouldn't you know it, she's in a long-term care facility for more years. I just wanna put this in perspective for everybody watching this video. Eight years of long-term care in 2023 in the state of New Jersey. Do you know what eight years of long-term care costs? It's a million dollars. It's a million dollars. Long-term care can be very expensive and it can upset the plans of a lot of people that need to go into uh, these long-term facilities or need long-term care for 
the rest of their lives. It's worth having a conversation. It's worth doing a little digging and looking into.